What is going on guys, Zen Master back again with another video and in today's video I'm going to share my Scottish tryhard Amos's Fowlers that I posted in this recent video over here. Now guys, if you haven't watched this video already, make sure you check it out to see how the script works. I really like posting gameplay so you can understand how the weapons work with the anti-recoil and the Amos's together. I am on console so these Amos's Fowlers will work best for console. So make sure you drop a like if you're excited for this video and subscribe if you're brand new. Vanguard is coming out on November 5th so we'll be absolutely dropping amazing values and gameplay when Vanguard drops, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Now before we start, I want to head over to the Patreon. Over here is where we have all the anti rico spreadsheets. We have all the pro aims, we've got the pro pack done, the essentials, and we got the season 6 hybrid. And I am working on the Scottish Triheart spreadsheet. It is an amazing spreadsheet guys, it feels really really good. And I will be dropping it hopefully tonight, if not tomorrow. Now guys, before Vanguard drops, I will be increasing the price for all of the Patreon. I'll not be increasing it too much, but make sure you join ASAP because I will be increasing the price. The reason being is once Vanguard drops, all the new weapons in Vanguard are going to be integrated into Warzone. So I'll be spending lots of time working on beginner spreadsheets for, you know, beginner attachments for all the guns. Then I'll be doing, you know, the attachments, the spreadsheets with the attachments. I'm just going to be doing a lot of work, guys. I'm going to be improving the quality. I'm probably going to be extending the sensitivities. So, you know, me putting in the more hours, I feel like the value will go up for the, you know, for the Patreon. So make sure you join ASAP to get these low prices. The normal package will give you all the spreadsheets. The Rust early tier will give you all the Rust spreadsheets plus the Call of Duty ones. And the VIP package is for one-on-one -on -one help. I know a lot of people have no idea how to use this end. I've helped a lot of people guys I've helped over a hundred people in the VIP package and you know after I've helped them they were shook they were they were amazed how the Zen can actually work and actually help them so you know don't be shy to sign up for the VIP package I can guarantee you and I have people who can vouch for me that I will definitely help you out with that being said man make sure you check it out make sure you read everything before you purchase you know that about Zen master the billing methods and all that stuff and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Now I'm going to share with you the Amos's values. I always post some on Patreon first. So I like to give my Patreons the, you know, early access to all my values. And, you know, it's late. It's really late, guys. I'm at 4.40 a.m. recording this video. I tested these values up for past two days. And I can definitely confirm that these are the values I'm going to be making my spreadsheet for. They're absolutely insane. I'm not going to lie. It's so hard to tell which one is better, the Pro Aim or the Scottish. They're both very, very similar. Maybe have the Pro Aim ahead of it. But for Rebirth Island, especially, you know, for those close and medium ranges, this script is absolutely insane. I do not recommend it for very long range unless you're a good Call of Duty player. If you're not very good, you know, if you're not like a high skill player, it's going to be very difficult for you. Anyways, this first value up here is going to be for your primary and your long distance uh, assault rifles so you're gonna have version 5 on we're using version 5 for all of the uh, aim assist and all the profiles because honestly man I think I think version 5 is just it's the new aim assist the new spiral prism shape it gives you that sticky feeling man I'm not gonna lie so we're gonna be using linear I feel like linear gives you more control polar sometimes it just makes your aim go wacky then obviously shape direction will be on and the shape we're using is a spiral prism I'm not completely sure how that looks, especially like when you're aiming on target. I just tried it out and it just caught my eye right away. I've obviously tested all the shapes for the Scottish Triart and I just found that the shape felt great. Now for the ADS speed guys, uh, I typically like to make my ADS speed higher than my regular speed for assault rifles and longer range. The reason being is I'm pretty sure, I hope I'm not saying this wrong, the ADS speed is when you're not touching your right stick. So Sometimes when we do long range battles, we don't move our right stick that much. So I like to have a bit more like a boost, I guess. I feel like the boost is more when I'm not moving my right stick. Uh, and yeah, so that's, that's the reason why I do that. I feel like if you guys want to play around with the values, make sure you keep the ADS speed higher. Trust me, man. You know, I know obviously you want to keep the speed low, but try this out. It's been working great. Uh, the speed and radius are both going to be 9. You don't want to have high speed and radius for, you know, long range. Keep everything nice and low. Now they added in a tailored tracking. You're gonna have this on, and the tracking size is gonna be three. Tracking speed two, speed boost on. Now, if you guys know me, I don't like to boost anything high, man. You know, um, tracking size, tracking speed. I honestly don't even know what this is. I'm pretty sure these are the basic general values, and normally the tailored drift scripts 
the general value or like the first value they give you is always not too strong and not too weak you know so i like to keep it i kept it on the default because i'm not too experienced with it because they just dropped it also from my experience with the wolf warrior increasing your tracker values it, it can honestly mess with your entity it could mess with everything you know so keeping it nice and low um you ought to realize guys you know aim assist only helps you very little anti vehicle definitely helps a lot but when you mix both of them together you can like improve your game a lot all right so just just don't depend on aim assist fully to get you on target try to play as if you're not using a cone ascent you know that's what i tell a lot of my patreons put in the values all right make sure they're comfortable to play with and then imagine you're not even using a cone ascent like how would you be playing if you didn't have the cone ascent and i can guarantee you you'll, you'll definitely be playing better now for secondary guys you're going to use v5 linear shape direction on same shape however you're going to increase the values now i know some people they put their values up in the 20s and i just think it's insane do not raise your values that much guys in my opinion they actually hurt you more than they help you like if your aim is spinning you know if your anti vehicle is going crazy you're not going to be able to hit your shots all right so we have ads speed 12 speed 12 radius 14 so when you're using the smg it's a lot of time close range you're moving your stick left and right you don't really feel it you don't notice it but i definitely have noticed myself i'm moving my stick left and right because smgs are a lot of close range so keep the ads speed and speed the same value um, tailor tracking obviously on and i think we increase the size and then we keep the speed the same all right i definitely feel the tracking if you watch my video in the gameplay my tracking looks absolutely insane um, I'm hitting a lot of my shots and I feel it myself because I have so many gameplays and I feel like when I hop into rebirth I can just get great aim assist and great sticky feelings so when we go down here we see the ground loot and warzone profile this is gonna be for obviously your ground loot you're gonna use linear you're gonna have shape direction on shape spiral prism same thing and I tried to make it a little bit in between but I kind of like the long range aim assist a bit more. I liked it really nice and low, so I kept it nice and low for the ground loot. Um, these are the values, you can read them out. And you're gonna be using a legacy vertical 25. Now, if you are in a higher sensitivity, you will lower it a couple values. If you are in a lower sensitivity, you will increase it. All right, and I do have the script linked here. However, this is a public post. All right, this is a free post. I do not sell any scripts. I'll say this one more time before I end the video. I have refunded probably five to six people who thanked me for making the script. Okay, like they were like, oh, this is a very good script. Like guys, I do not make the script. All right, don't comment down below saying You're, I'm selling the script. Now, I have all the scripts in my disc. I tell people to join my Discord to get the script. Some people, you know, they're a little bit older in my Patreon. And they don't want to get discord and i don't blame them and discord's full of like hackers and scammers and they send links and people will click the link and they'll get you know hacked so i just put it on here and it's free so don't say that I sell scripts man these are simply my values that i sell anyways i hope you all have a good day and take care